Hello YouTube. Today we're going to make our own brown sugar. This is really super easy. As you can see, all that's in brown sugar is a natural sugar and molasses. So we're starting with an unrefined all natural sugar called Marino's Pure Cane Sugar. And we're going to use Grandma's Old Fashioned Molasses and a little bit of my homemade spice rum vanilla. So we're going to turn the mixture on and get it going on low. This mixture runs a little fast. I didn't think I had it on low, but it runs a little faster than normal. We're going to start drizzling our Grandma's Old Fashioned Molasses into the sugar. We're going to keep the mixer running. We want it to evenly spread out through the sugar and have no uh, spots where there's more molasses in certain areas than others. I just kind of eyeballing it, but a general rule is for every cup of sugar, use a teaspoon to two teaspoons of molasses per cup of sugar. But I would, I just prefer to eyeball it. Uh, I make my own vanilla out of the pure vanilla beans. I uh, made two different types. Uh, made it with spice rum and just regular vodka. And I prefer the taste of the spice rum. I think it's a little bit better flavor. And I think adding this to the vanilla also keeps the vanilla from clumping together. The high alcohol content will keep the vanilla drier than using some, you know, other imitation vanilla that's basically just uh, water in vanilla beans. So using the alcohol-based vanilla is going to give you a little bit better consistency. We're going to keep mixing this because we want to thoroughly mix throughout all of the sugar. Uh, the mixer does have a, a rubber or silicone spatula in it that as the beater turns it's wiping down the side so we're sure to get a pure a real good mixture of the product. Add a little bit more because it just doesn't uh, have the right consistency for brown sugar. We may do this several times till we get it just right. Mixer slowed down a little bit so I'm going to turn it back up so it keeps fluffing it and, and wiping the sides down. As you can see it's starting to get you know to where it looks a little wet like brown sugar does. When my grandmother made this, she used anywhere from a teaspoon, two teaspoons, I've seen her use a tablespoon to a cup of sugar, but she mixed it by hand with a whisk. I think the kitchen egg mixer does a little bit better job. I'm just going to take a little taste of it and see how it tastes. And uh, it needs more molasses, so we're going to add some more to it and keep mixing. Make sure we keep our guard on there so it doesn't sling the sugar out all over the place. This is a a new KitchenAid mixer, one of the little smaller ones, I think 325 watt, and it is a little faster than my big 600 watt that we use more for all the attachments like grinding meat and making pasta, uh, dicing, chopping vegetables, that type of stuff. This is a little bit handier in the kitchen. And we're going to add a little bit more of the vanilla to it. and. Uh, like I said, this is just a great flavor. And that spice rum vanilla in with the brown sugar. It's going to help it keep it from plumping together. I've seen people make this and end up part as a brick and take a knife to chop it out. If you'll use a little bit of the alcohol in it or alcohol with vanilla in it, you won't have that issue. Just wiping the molasses that's stuck on top of the beater, wiping it down so we get it mixed in with the brown sugar. I don't want to waste any of it or have any clumps. This will start to really look nice. Can't wait to use it in some brownies or even make a maybe some caramel sauce. Get to slow down, so I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah, it smells good in here with that vanilla. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Wow, that looks great. 
I'm going to store this in an airtight container. I like using the lock and lock container. They do a real good job keeping everything and anything out. A lot of times your food, uh, the smells and aromas of your food can combine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click on the little notifications bell so you get notifications of any new videos coming out. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.